Hey, how you guys doing? This is Rich from Rich TV Live, and I want to talk to you about Mind Medicine. So, I talked to you about this company before they did their IPO. They did their IPO, exploded up. You could see they flew up to really high levels and then came all the way back down. And they've been down as low as 30 cents, which was like a buying opportunity of the century. And since then, what we've seen them do is just explode up. Kind of funny because some guys were talking to me and threatening they were going to short this stock. And I said, yeah, go short it. I uh, wonder where those guys are now. Uh, up 27% today, very quietly trading 5.5 million shares and up 27%. Went through all my, my stocks and my holdings. Like, oh, wow, I'm up on my meds. And, and I didn't expect it because it's been down. You see all this red here. It's been pushed down for the most part of you know the last three weeks and you could see they had that one explosion up in the green and now the last two days in the green again here so will this continue let's see here let's see if we know why they exploded mind med reports year-end results and corporate update investor conference call scheduled for wednesday april 1st 2020 at 11 a.m eastern mind medicine mmed in canada mmedf in america the leading neuropharmaceutical company for psychedelic-inspired medicines today announced the release of its audited consolidated financial statements, otherwise known as the financial statements, and accompanying management discussions and analysis for the period of May 30th, 2019, date of incorporation to December 31st, 2019. The period ended December 31st, 2019. All financial figures contained herein are expressed in U.S. dollars, USD, unless otherwise noted. For readers of the financial statements and MDNA, it is important to note that on February 27, 2020, Mind Medicine Inc. completed a reverse takeover transaction with Broadway Gold Mining Limited to form Mind Medicine Inc. Mind Med Delaware is deemed to be the acquirer in the reverse takeover transaction and therefore Mind Med Delaware's audited consolidated financial statements for the period ended December 31st, 2019 are deemed to be those of Mind Med and are the financial statements released today. Mind Med was founded in May 2019 and completed a number of capital raises for the aggregate proceeds of US $30 million including 19.5 million after period and making it very well capitalized in the psychedelic medicine industry. I'm not going to go through all the news. Our cash and working capital, December 31st, 2019 were 3 million U S and 4.7 million U S respectively. The increase in cash was due mainly to the U.S. 9.9 .9 million of net financings, net of the cash used in operations of U.S. 3.1 million, and the funds held in trust of U.S. 3.6 million. The increase in working capital was due mainly to the net financings of U.S. 9.9 .9 million, net loss of U.S. 5.4 million. Just reading all the information here. So there will be a conference call tomorrow morning. And I might even stream that. That'll be 8 a.m. my time. I'm going to be really busy, but I'm going to try to see if I, can, if I can stream that tomorrow. What do you guys think about Mind Medicine? Big move today, 5.5 million shares at 79 cents. Did hit a high of 84 cents. A low of 65 on the day, a high of 84, finished at 79. Pleasant little surprise. I am green. I am a shareholder. Honestly, I might sell my position because I kind of got hot, kind of got, got in way too high. Looking at all this red here, it's just going to be hard to believe it's going to stay above this level here, 61 cents. Looks to me like 61 cents is going to be a very difficult level to stay over. So let's see if they can maintain. 
these prices or go higher. Right now, just looking at the chart, it looks like they're going to have a lot of resistance. Um, just based on historical patterns, because it hasn't really stayed above these prices for long. But you never know. It's a brand new company just getting started. They do have Kevin O'Leary and Bruce Linton heavily involved. Kevin O'Leary, an investor, and Bruce Linton on their board. Stay tuned. This is your boy, Rich from Rich to be Live. We bring in the winners and we bring them to you first. Mind Medicine with a huge day yesterday and today. If you got in at 30 cents and you're at 79, congratulations. Amazing trade. Probably should have already sold. You probably already did. Your boy, Rich from Rich to be Live. If you're not winning, you're not watching. We bring in the winners. And we bring them to you first. It's true. It's your boy Rich from Rich to be live. And I'm out. Mind Medicine. Keep bringing us those winners, baby. Let's go. 27% gainer. I'm out. Peace.